Hi, this is a video about continuous reciprocation of a double acting cylinder. In the present position, a double acting cylinder is kept in its home position by the compressed air going through the 5 by 2 double pilot valve and getting into the cylinder through this port. All the compressed air signals are shown in dark blue lines. In roller lever valve L1, which is placed directly beneath the piston rod, it is getting pressed in the beginning itself and hence it is activated and the compressed air as a signal comes out of L1 and goes towards the AN gate. The AN gate has a property that it would allow the output signal to come only if there are signal at the same time on either side of the wall. It is possible only when the selector switch is pressed. When the selector switch is pressed, this selector valve makes this position to get locked in this way and the signal will come out through this passage and reach the AND gate. We will see that as we simulate the circuit. As I press this selector switch, selector valve, you could see the double acting cylinder going to and fro at a fast pace. To understand this, we can go stage by stage in this simulation. This is the first stage of simulation where the piston rod is activating this roller lever valve and the signal is reaching the dual pressure valve or AND gate and the AND gate is not responding by sending the output signal as it has a signal on one side only. In this 5 by 2 double pilot valve, compressed air is going through this passage and through this port keeping the piston at its home position. Though it is at home position, the piston rod is activating L1. L2 is kept at the extended position of the piston rod and it is not yet activated. Let me just press the selector switch. As the selector switch is pressed, the signal can go through this passage to the AND gate. Once it reaches the AND gate, the signal would reach the 5 by 2 double pilot valve as shown by the thick blue lines. This would change the actuating position of the 5 by 2 double pilot valve. The double pilot valve actuating position changes and the compressed air through this passage reaches the cylinder on the other side of the piston. The piston rod extends leaving L1. That means L1 is now free but the compressed air is blocked in its original position. L2, is be, L2 will be pressed now as the piston rod reaches L2. As it is pressed, the signal comes out as a thick blue line and reaches the 5 by 2 double pilot valve. This would change the position of the double pilot valve and the cylinder will get air through this position or this passage. The piston rod would return. As it returns, it would again press 
L1 and this signal comes and it would change the actuating position of 5x2 double pilot valve and the air would go and press on the other side of the cylinder to make it extend. This is kept on till finally we press the selector switch again. As we press the selector switch, it is released and the compressed air is no longer available on this side and hence the entire position of reciprocation of the cylinder stops. Thank you.